this to you. And we've made it to the crew room for fueling up today after that little bit of session there. On the water, decided to change the angle of the footage, put it on my head. So let me know in the comments below if you think that was interesting. And if you'd like any more, or even if you have any other suggestions where to put the camera. But now we're going to talk, because we were having the food and we were discussing a little bit about the theoretical speed of a boat. What is the max speed? So I'm going to put the camera down. We're going to discuss with Ed and James. Oh, and so what is the theoretical speed, fastest speed of a boat? So we'll go for, for the world records. So world record in a pair is 608. Can a pair go under six? six. Yeah. Yes, I reckon in good conditions. Yeah. Wait. I reckon there's got there's got to be because what's that in percent? What's that in a percent? Two percent. Two percent faster. There's got to be two percent that people can find just turn yeah. a little bit more than two percent, but yeah. Just a lot. Both the same. If you, well, blade design. And, um, if you look at how much quicker it's got since. 20 years ago. I don't know what the record was. Was it Matt? Was it Pinson and Crackle? They did 614. Yeah. 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 Six seconds quicker than that. Yeah. So, because that's what that is, yeah. So, if you do. Not necessarily is it, is it that yeah. rate of increase. So, so, so it took how long to go from 614 to 608? I think they did it at the 2001 yeah. World Champs in Seville. And then. It went wow. from so six or uh, so thousand one to one twenty. Sorry, it's just the guys off. Thousand nine. No, two thousand fifteen or fourteen. So, that, so say thirteen years, fourteen years. So you'd, would you say it's another thirteen or fourteen to get? I don't know. I, I, I feel think it could like be longer <laughs> because that kiwi pair was. Yeah, I feel like that kiwi pair was definitely. They were yes. probably two of the best athletes that there has been, and also at the right time in the same country as in, as in growing for the same country yeah. um, on the right lake with a yeah, massive right weather, stonky tailwind nice nice the other thing is like you look at the national teams now they're getting bigger and bigger and so fewer like you have to run a pair for ages to be able to get that kind of speed like that kiwi pair but that kiwi pair have rode together for like by the time they set the white record they've been rode together for like four or five years so it's almost as tough and like i think just very few teams will let a crew stay in that combination for that long like but then the singles brothers are doing it but, they're, but again the croatian team is quite small yeah but they've been like for the kiwi pair if they were, they were together for that long, but they were also yes, yeah. producing the speed very quickly. So they could, so they had the opportunity to stick together. So they, they were beating people immediately. So you have to have that as well. So that obviously that was that world record and that, that I think, bit of pace um, done to them. It's more likely that the records will be more and more ridiculous in smaller boat classes. Because it's rare that you will get eight people in the same country at the same time. Like it always happens at like worlds or whatever in, as a junior or under 23 that smaller countries can produce a single skull yeah, yeah. and and like they'll, they might be really quick but then when it comes to like a bigger boat it's always the same countries with the same sort of whatever yeah. the bigger team and stuff. yeah um so i think like the pair and the double maybe the single as well they probably have the hardest percentages in terms of like what it, what it takes um, so maybe they are closer to the actual absolute limit of what a boat can do anyway so what about so we definitely think a pair can go so was that two percent faster so six, six minutes what is two percent and an eight so five five seventeen five eighteen five seventeen so say under is that gold medal song is that gold record same thing, what about you? So if I have 10, we will see. But then, it's, it, you know, it, and then again, it goes, well, on, a, it, it goes on a sliding scale. Like, it's so much, you know, like it's, Ed's saying it's harder for a 
because you've got to get more people on the same thing. Also, the, uh, the well, shorter the race, the less time you have chance yeah. to make it go quicker. Yeah. Like, a big tailwind has less of an effect. It should have less of an effect on an eight's time because the time that it's being affected the boat is shorter. So, also, makes sense. But you are a bigger... Cool. Yeah, but a single is racing for seven minutes with all of that tailwind. Yeah. Also, like, you know, you've talked about it in... Um, on like on the erg and stuff like it's much harder to go from like a 119 to a 117 than it is to go from a 132 to a 130 like just just from a, a pure like wattage well, a little bit harder well, no. yeah. yeah i mean it is, but it is you know and and you know the other thing is that you you have to get eight guys you know completely in sync but on the flip side of that You've got the thing of like, I don't like obviously the, the German eight set the record last year, they're unbelievably good. But I don't think, I think if you raced each individual against other people, I reckon there, there is, I think there is a quicker combination in there. And so, you know, if, if you put that in, you can do it. So basically, what we're saying is all books, all the records will be broken again. Yeah, definitely. but also you have to look at the technology as well. Yeah, sure. If you look at technology from 20 years ago, they were probably just about starting to have carbon riggers. Maybe not maybe a little bit. Just about starting to have wing riggers. Starting to have wing riggers. Now, what, all, pretty much every boat that wins an Olympics will be carbon, carbon yeah. riggers. So, and the those skinny were, shafts, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. like yeah. a lot of. The blades. the blades, yeah, we don't know. Like, we're supposed to be getting more and more efficient. But there's a, one of the guys, Big Phil, been in the vlog, Big Phil, doing the track of world records. Air, he does some sailing, and he spoke to like the guys who make the sailing boats, and he was like, I can't, this, that guy couldn't believe that there wasn't as much of a bit like in the in the in the sailing boat it's like they do everything to make it faster and he was saying you have you tried this have you done this what's in the boat and he said there's so much you can still do in a rowing shell well i mean that's well that's like because of like money behind them yeah but that's, but that's also but, kind of like you look at what like, companies like nano are doing now yeah, right? yeah, yeah. like they're saying like oh you know we're going to bring the technology on the yeah. design r d that we've got from kayaking and put it into the rowing, into rowing. And, you know, they're, they're pretty confident that they can make a massive step forward. Um, and you just look at the, I mean, you watch Stu in this when he's rowing that metal. It looks completely different. It's really short. And it just, it just like carries on going, it doesn't check. But they're, but they're doing that in bigger boat classes as well. So, I mean, it's interesting. So, the question isn't if the record should be The question is more, how much ballot? Yeah. I reckon, okay, here you go. Here's my sweeping generalization. Oh. I reckon oh. World Champs 2021 oh. we might see some serious records. Because that's in Shanghai. Yeah. Really and when we were there over the summer, the lake was like bubbling. It was so hot. And we, like when the wind kicks up, it's on, it's on the side of a massive inland sea. So when the wind kicks up and it really whips down the course, I reckon you're going to see some quick times. So keep an eye out for twenty. <laughs> keep an eye out for 2021 World Championships. Also, because the three of us are going to be there in in the in the fourth. In the in the quad trophy. <laughs> the cops <laughs> back. But that will be it for today's little bit of a chat. We've got some weights to do this afternoon. Maybe some stretching. We need to speak to the coaches. So let's get to that. And we've made it into the gym. We've got upper body day. We're frogs.
and we have made it outside. Oh my goodness, we've made it outside of the club for another day. And as you can tell, I've got a brawly and it's raining. Absolutely fantastic. But a little bit of a short video today. Got the sessions in and a little bit of a chat about sort of the maximum speed of boats. So we had a little bit of a, it just came up, so I thought it'd be quite interesting to video our thoughts. Let me know if you want to see more of those kind of chats. I mean, we, we spend all the time together and there's lots of random subjects that come up, including the one from today. But we've made it back to the vehicle and that will be it for today's video. We've got, we're heading to Dorney Lake tomorrow for prep for Met on Sunday and there will be some pieces tomorrow. So that will be exciting and as well, I posted about my Patreon again, just in case you haven't heard, just to help continue the vlogs, continue the rowing, and keep on pushing forward. I made a Patreon page, which should be in the, a link in the description below for, for any of you, or any of the Yam Squad that might be interested in helping me out a little bit, whether it's like a coffee a week kind of thing, or whether it's more, there's a, a merch package in there which the first round of the people that contributed to the that merch tier got their merch and that's I put that on my story today so if you're interested like I said head to the link in the description below but for those that have already contributed to the Patreon I really thank you very much and it really helps I mean it goes towards camps it goes towards paying the bills it goes towards food etc because remember food is fuel and I really really appreciate that as I've said before the funding has stopped but that will be it for today's video, Yam Squad. I'm hopefully going to stay a little bit drier. Hopefully the weather doesn't continue to be as wet throughout the weekend. But as always, we have to deal with any situation that comes our way. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button and have a good one.